All right, day 18 of uh, hunger striking, and want to remind everybody that I want my ashes to go to Wallace, Idaho, if this uh, a hunger strike were to go in that direction. I'm actually not afraid of... You notice that I, I always say I want my ashes to go to Wallace, Idaho, if the fast were to warrant it, right? I never say if it were to end tragically, right? And I don't think it would be a tragic ending because um, it, 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 if I don't get accepted for being solo sexual, uh, that's a worse fate than having my ashes scattered in Wallace, Idaho. It really is. To give you an idea, I work with a bunch of people who are like-minded heterosexual people and they're not out to get me. One of my subscribers said that I think everybody's out to get me. No, they're not. What they are is very close-minded and uh, they sometimes don't think about the wants and needs of people who have differences in sexuality, in hobbies, in... you get the idea, right? So finally, I convinced my work to uh, let me off on uh, 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 the two, two, two weekends from now so that I could go see a lunar eclipse. And it took a lot of pushback, right? And I think to myself, okay, I got the day, but I've kicked the, the, the can down the road six months. So we'll see you again in November where I have to ask for another day off for another lunar eclipse. And then I have to be harassed for being solo sexual again, right? It didn't feel like a resolution. It felt more like kicking the can down the road. And um, don't get me wrong. He's not out to get me. He doesn't understand solo sexuality. And so, um, lately I've been completely losing my appetite uh, over this, so it, it hasn't been hard to do the auger strike. Uh, anyway, uh, it's not a tragedy if my ashes go to Wallace, Idaho. It, it would be a tragedy if I spent the next 80, 90 years being not accepted for who I am. And it's not because people hate me, right? Notice I never use the word hate when I talk about solo sexual differences. It's that they overlook what I want. So what, what do I mean by that? So I love the lunar eclipse, right? I might not mind filling in for my colleagues at an odd hour for Christmas when school is canceled. That's fine. But I want it to go the other way around too, right? I want to get some other thing in return, right? Whether it be the day off during the lunar eclipse or some other workplace benefit, right? So as a solo sexual, I probably would have to think hard about who's going to take care of me when I'm old, right? So maybe in exchange, maybe have some better long-term care insurance, right? Uh, I don't know. I'm just throwing some thoughts out there. But unfortunately, it's, it, it, this isn't even being discussed, right? Um, okay, I, I really feel like I have to say goodbye because lately... Uh, I've actually been asked to leave places because people think I have COVID as a result of the fasting symptoms. So it, it seems like the end is drawing close, unless we negotiate some kind of resolution to this, right? And not just kick the kid down the road a few months at a time, right? 